Hello guys, how are you? It's Megan Graham and I just wanted to come on today and chat with everybody and say hello, see how Thanksgiving was. Um, Jeff and I just got home from the gym. I'm like, trying to think if I want to pull this window down a little bit. Let's see. I think maybe you can see me a little bit better if there's not as much light coming from behind me. It's never perfect in a trailer. Guys, who is on today? Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Deborah, I just saw this. It says, I need prayers, everyone. My Bella is in the hospital and her kidneys are failing. Deborah, I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm definitely going to be praying for you and praying for Bella. Um, do you know what stage her kidneys are in that they are failing? Definitely, please let me know. I'm so sorry about that. Um Sometimes, um, well, let me know what happens, but if there's anything that you can do, uh, one thing, I was having a lot of kidney issues and I take um, activated carbon to help clean my bloodstream to take the um, stress off of my kidneys. So I don't know if you are able to do something like that in the future or if it might help her, but sometimes that can be much like dialysis, um, just different so nice of you guys to keep her in your prayers. I see all these prayers coming from everybody that's on here. That's so nice of you guys. Hello and welcome. If you are new to my live stream, my name is Megan Graham and I've got my little Yorkie Alfie with me. I'm taking off his pampers. He wears a pants when Jeff and I go to the gym because he likes to mark and potty sometimes when we're gone. He's a little bit of a naughty guy, but look at that face. You really can't get mad at him. So I have three Yorkshire Terriers, Alfie, who is five years old, and Lola and Poppy were sisters. They're nine years old. I actually thought they were 10 years old, and my husband did correct me. Whoops. Um, <laughs> it's, been a, it's been quite the year. And then we also have a Siberian cat, and we travel full time in our travel trailer. So we're actually in our travel trailer right now, and we do it... Um, we really started doing it for my health because I had had some mold exposure, but we also really like spending time together as a family, having adventures. We're currently in California and we think it's beautiful. Um, so that is a little bit about myself. If you guys are on the live stream, please jump into the comments and say hi. Tell me where you're from. Um, if you have any questions, this is always a great place to ask them. Um, it's a much easier place to give a long explanation than um, it. I'm so bad about writing long explanations because it just, you could spend an hour typing and it's so much more fun to chat um, and come on and see everybody here. And everybody, please say a prayer for Deborah's little baby, Bella, because she is in the hospital. So I know everybody's going to be definitely saying a prayer for her. I'm so sorry to hear that. Hello, Sheila. It's so nice to see you. Thank you so much. Hi, Dawn. How are you? It's nice to see all of you guys on here. Thank you. Um, so my husband and I were just at the gym and there is a, we go to the same gym a lot because we've been staying at the same park and there's a gentleman there that brings his Yorkie to the gym. She is 19 years old and she is so spry and fast. She runs around. He obviously doesn't just let her run around the gym all the time, but he does let her run around a little bit. And my husband and I are just in disbelief. She's so agile. Um, Lola definitely cannot run as fast as this 19 year old Yorkie. He definitely did something right and he took amazing care of his dog that she's able to be like that. And every time I go to the gym, I see him walking up the stairs and I'm always like, Where's the dog? And then I see her after and I'm so excited. Hi, Brittany. Thank you so much. It's so nice to see you today. I think I should have them. So, guys, usually also, just so you know, um, my favorite shampoo and conditioner should be in the links of this video. Let me know if they're not in the link. So in the description, I usually put some of my very favorite products um, in that description. I also put a link today to, um, I don't know if you guys know, but I actually produce beauty products and I make something called the Little Black Makeup Towel, which is for sale on Amazon. Um, and so I link to that because I am selling those. That's kind of like my business right now as I'm not working in person. And I realized I should probably share that link a little bit more so people actually know that they exist. So you should be able to let me know, Brittany, if you can't find those links. But I usually list my favorite shampoo and conditioner, right? I just keep everything really easy because I... 
think of anything that I get asked for frequently, and then I just add it um, into my video so that it's really easy for you guys to find if you need a product or something like that. Valerie, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I'm so glad that you like my links. I actually, I need to go in and even add more because I've realized there are other things that people are asking for, um, and I've just been so busy with other stuff, but I'm going to go in this week and I will even update my links and add some more of my favorite things that I really love. Um, it's so much easier when you know that a product is good. And obviously, you know, if there's something else you want to try, try that too. But I did so much research to find my favorite products. So I really love to share them with people. Obviously, I know a lot of my viewers have dogs, not cats, but I'm always sharing. I have a beautiful cat tree for Simba. And it was really hard to find a pretty cat tree. Most of them are really terrible looking. Um, so I'm always sharing that product. I love to share Evermore food, which is in my links. I think that is, it's just such high quality food. And it's definitely helped with a lot of health problems that my dogs had. So we actually, oh, actually the Evermore is not here, but I think it's getting delivered. We just got a thing and it's getting delivered either today or tomorrow you can walk across it's fine jeff is going to walk across there's my husband when you live in a 300 square foot space you can walk and do whatever you need to do love it's totally fine yeah that's fine jeff is working on his computer surprisingly we obviously live in such a tiny space and we get along so so well um so i don't really have any makeup on today i did a little like eyeliner and um little eyeliner and mascara, but I've been trying to give my skin a break um, and just put fewer products on it and things like that. So just kind of getting used to uh, not having a fake tan, not having tons of makeup on. Um, I think it's good to give your body a break from all those products, even if you use the most healthy ones. And I've been working on my skin, trying to make it as pretty as possible. I wish I could be as pretty naturally as this guy is, because who's... Who is this handsome? He's just such a gorgeous little guy. And he's such a good guy, too. They get so excited when we come home. It's like if we were at the gym probably for an hour and we come home every single time I walk in the door, it's like I was gone for five days. Isn't it? True. They've been getting tons of walks. So we kind of we were at some different parks and this we like this park a lot. It's really quiet. Um, there's not too many people here, not too many dogs, so it's so much easier to walk the dogs. We were at a park about, uh, I don't know, eight days ago, and there were so many dogs there, and it was just kind of like petrifying because there were a lot of sort of aggressive dog breeds, and then my dogs are so small. I don't know if you guys get nervous about that, but that is a big, kind of a big issue for us. Oh, Alfie, he's so cute. He got a bath yesterday. I have to say that I'm usually really good at giving all my dogs a bath like every seven to 10 days. And being on the road, we've been pretty busy and I've been doing a lot of health stuff. So I think he didn't get a bath for three weeks and he was so dirty. I can't even describe it. So I'm going to have to be better about it from now on. And I think this week, I'm actually going to give him a little winter haircut. So I'm thinking for winter, it's a little bit, not cold in California, but it gets cold at night. So I might leave their hair a little bit longer than I usually do, just to give them a little something to be warm, just in case it's one of those times where I just zip outside. I don't always put a coat on if it's like 60 degrees, we don't usually wear a coat. So um, I think a little bit of extra hair would help them. So what did you guys do for Thanksgiving? Did everybody have a nice Thanksgiving? Did you see family? Um, was it enjoyable? Did your pets enjoy it? We went to one of my friend's houses. She was actually a client of mine in Boston when I was working as a hairstylist. And we went to her house. There were about 25 people there. And we had a really great time visiting and um, really nice meal and things. So that was our that was what we did. Um, and it was actually really fun. The park that we stayed at did a lot of celebrations. People had like outside tables and there were a lot of families there. Um, one thing that I didn't know, I don't know if you guys have traveled in an RV or a motorhome before, but this is my first time. We've been traveling for I think about three months now, something like that. 
And um, I didn't know that Thanksgiving is one of the busiest times in the RV parks. So it was really hard to get a spot, um, but we did secure one and we found one in San Diego. So we were really lucky, but I felt like I was waiting for concert tickets. Um, I kept just refreshing the website and hoping that someone would cancel because there were no vacancies and I was getting a little bit worried that we wouldn't have somewhere to stay. Guys, if you are just joining and you think of it, I would love it if you could hit the thumbs up button on this video. So YouTube has an algorithm and when you get more thumbs up and more engagement, um, they tend to promote your videos more, they like your YouTube more, um, and I always really appreciate that that support for, for my videos if you enjoy them. Oh, thank you so much. I see you guys hitting it now. That's so nice of you. I've been just trying to jump on a little bit more with my live streams right now with all the health stuff that I'm doing. They're definitely the easiest thing for me to do and the best way to, um, to stay in touch with everybody, which I really, really like. Debbie, thank you so much for the compliment on Elfie. He really, he is such a good little boy. He's the sweetest. Yes, he potties sometimes in the house, so he has to wear a pampers when we're not watching him. But as far as his personality, he could not be any sweeter, any more gentle. I mean, he's just the best little dog, and he's so beautiful, too. So he's, I guess he can't be everything, right? He can't also be perfectly house trained. Although Jeff and I have tried and he's really, really good. And most of the time, what we find is he doesn't like to go to the bathroom in his pampers. So most of the time he is very, very good. And he does not go to the bathroom, um, in his little pampers. So it's definitely a helpful tool and we take him out all the time. Deborah says you ate too you ate too much. It's so funny. This is like the one Thanksgiving where I didn't eat too much. The food was very, very good, but I'm extremely partial to my mom's food, which I always overeat. Um, and we they didn't have mashed potatoes, and I feel like that's the thing that I usually really overeat on. We got home and I was like, we might have to make another Thanksgiving dinner because there was no mashed potatoes and we need that. We definitely do. Um, Amy says, Do you have an affiliate link for the higher dose sauna? Yes, I do, Amy. And you know what? I'm going to write that in because I do have an affiliate code. I think I have a 10% off code um, for people as well. So I will start adding that to my videos. Um, I never know if I should add some of my health links to my Yorkie video too, or if I should just keep Cox videos with health links. Um, what do you guys think? Should I keep the links separate or would you like to see a few of my health favorites um, on the Yorkie videos too? totally um, up to you. When I'm an ambassador for different companies, they usually give me an affiliate code. So I usually get a promotional code that I can give to people where they can save on their purchase. Um, I actually just got my higher dose sauna that I've been using at home and I use someone else's affiliate link to get it so that I could get their discount. And my sauna is just the best thing ever that I purchased. Um, Amy, if you are going to get one too, what I got to go inside of mine, so I got a cotton liner. It's like a white waffle weave liner and I got it. I can link to that too. I'm not an ambassador, but Kourtney Kardashian had it on her store, Poosh, and it's just really nice white cotton. So I can usually, I wear cotton pajamas when I'm in my sauna and then I do the cotton liner and I usually wash the liner every other time. You can wash it every time as well. We just obviously live in an RV, so we have to use the laundry room here. So I usually do it every other time, um, but I do wear fresh pajamas every time I get into it. So um, if you're interested, I can also link to um, the, the waffle weave liner. I don't know why Higher Dose had a liner. I just didn't think their liner was as nice as Kourtney Kardashian's. Um, it was black and I love white things so I can see, are they clean or dirty? Um, on black, it's just so hard to tell. But I will add those links. I will add them later, Amy. Um, and if you think of it, I'm going to, after I'm on this video or any video, if you want to just write on any of my videos, please add the links. Then I can tell you um, when I've added the links, if that's okay with you. Hi, Janine. It's so nice to see you. I'm glad that you like the links that I share too. Um, it took me so long to find certain shampoos and conditioners that worked well for them. Um, I wish I could add a better link for the combs that I use, 
but um, the woman that has the website top line pet just doesn't have direct links to things so I think what I should do is add a link to her website and go in and actually put in the name of the combs because people are always asking me which comb it is um, and I've been meaning to get those and sell them myself life has just been so non-stop busy so I have not done that yet but I will do that um, Yes, Amy, I did. So uh, not the PEMF mat, although the, P the PEMF mat is a great purchase as well. So I have another PEMF mat. I have a Beamer mat. But if I were getting a Beamer or a higher dose PEMF mat, I would definitely get the PEMF mat from higher dose at this point. Um, I think higher dose makes great products. I'm super impressed. They don't off gas, which I was super, I mean, everything off gas is a little bit, but they don't off gas a lot. So nothing bothered me. And I'm, you know, very chemically sensitive. Um, the PMF mat from higher dose is such a better price than the Beamer mat. I think I don't even, it's just like, it's night and day, much less expensive. So going back in time, I would have gotten the less expensive mat but I do PEMF, which is pulsed electromagnetic frequency um, therapy twice a day. It helps to keep your blood circulating well, which is really important when you're healing from an illness or you want to prevent an illness. I actually put the dogs on with me for a few minutes as well. Um, and it makes such a big difference. I just, I love the PEMF mat, but I have the sauna blanket from higher dose um, and I have it because we live in a trailer and I just really didn't have space to put in another kind of sauna. Um, I've been using it three times a week and it feels just, it feels so soothing, relaxing, and it's also helping me to clear up my skin, get the toxins out of my body, um, have better sleep, relax more, <laughs> all of those good things that I really need to do. Um, so I really love it, Amy. I wasn't sure how I would feel about it and it has been such such a find marcy says my yorkie evermore food came in today um but i wasn't able to use the discount that's so weird so um marcy had you ordered from evermore before i think i asked you if you had ordered from them before but i don't know if i heard back um it definitely should have worked if you've never ordered from evermore um the link should definitely work um, they just gave me a new discount code. So I asked if I could have um, a code and um, where you use my name. So now there's also another way to order Evermore through me. If you use Megan, M-E-G-A-N 10, you'll get 10% off your order. Um, but Marcy, if they didn't give you 10% off, um, you should write to them, right? To Her name is Erin. She's in customer service. And just let her know that you're one of my viewers. You tried to use the link. It didn't work and you would like the discount. Erin is incredible. She will take care of it for you. So don't hesitate. Just, you know, write back to whatever the email is and say, I tried to use Megan's discount code. It's my first order and it didn't work. And I'm sure she'll give it to you. She's super helpful to me with all my orders. Um, and the other day I wrote her and asked her, could I have, instead of just a link, could I have a discount code, even though the link also gets people a discount, simply because if I do a YouTube reel or something like that, you can't include a link. So there's no way for anybody to get the discount because I can't share it. So anyway, long story short, but um, I hope you love the food and don't hesitate to write her because I'm sure she'll give you a refund for that amount. Awesome. Yeah, she'll, I'm sure she'll take care of you. So you used, that's so funny, you used the code and it just, it didn't work. Interesting. Um, definitely, I will look into that and see why it's not working. I don't know if I can test it, but maybe I can have my husband test it and see if it's working for him and things like that. Guys, if you're just joining me and you haven't been on, my name is Megan Graham. I've got three Yorkies. This guy is very naughty. His full name is Ladies Man, but his his pet name is Alfie, and I just like to come on and see what you guys are up to. If anybody has any questions, and just say hello because you guys have been so awesome and supportive, especially while I have my little journey with my pets and things. Poppy, where's Poppy? Do you want to get brushed? Poppy, Poppy is a glamour doll, and oh, very much. Come here, come on. I would love to brush you. You're beautiful. Poppy loves to be brushed. Lola hides from me when I want to brush her. Poppy runs to me and gets so excited about being brushed. It's so cute. 
I'm just going to tilt this down a little bit so you can actually see my little puppy a little bit better. Look at that face. What a good girl. What a good girl. So we, she's been a little bit shy lately and she's been hiding in our back bedroom. And um, we moved the trailer yesterday. And every time we move the trailer, we have this thing that we hit and it automatically levels it so that we don't have to work really hard at leveling our trailer. Poppy does not like automatic leveler. I think it's her least favorite thing. She's she's a little sensitive doll. So I started calling her to me when we're leveling it. And I give her one piece of cat food as a treat because I want her to associate leveling the trailer with food and happy times. Brittany says, how often do you visit your mom? I haven't visited my mom at all since I've been traveling. So we had so much stuff to do um, with traveling. And we kind of had, if you guys watched any of my videos, we had a pretty crazy start to our traveling. Um, and so we, um, we've just been traveling. I don't really have any plans right now um, to visit, but I think I'm going to probably try to visit maybe every six months or, or something like that. Um, maybe possibly around the holidays, but not, we're just kind of seeing how things go. Um, and honestly, it's so funny. I was so scared to travel because I'm normally a very homesick person, but when you're towing your little home, um, you don't really have to be homesick because even though you're in a different spot all the time, I feel like as long as I have these sweet little babies and my husband, I'm at home wherever I go. So it's kind of an interesting thing. Um, I did cry a lot when we were first like driving away from my home because I had never been so far from home. But um, the more that we've done it, the, the less sort of homesick that I've been. Um, so yeah, I just feel like traveling and working on my health stuff and um, still traveling is a lot of energy for me. Um, and I'm doing so many different protocols for my health. So I'm just kind of conserving my energy so I can use it for health and also just enjoying, you know, kind of like this normal schedule, like going to the gym again. And um, Jeff and I take a lot of walks outside with the babies and things. So yeah, no plans right now. I'm sure I will eventually though. Oh my gosh. Yes, Amy, someday I definitely want to. I don't think it's going to be super soon. Um, I would really like to be, and I'm, I'm training, you know, for those things. But I think as much as I want to do it, my husband always keeps me very grounded and he is sometimes the more realistic one of the two of us. And what he pointed out is that I have to be really careful of where I stay because I do better in healthy environments and, um, you never know where you'll be staying for a fitness competition, as well as the fact that it's really tiring and, you know, very hard on your body. So I'm sort of tra I'm training and doing my best to get my muscles back and be as healthy as I can. Um, and at some point when my everything is so much better, I would like to do a competition again. I don't know if that will be in a year um, or something like that, but we'll just kind of see. I feel like it's good to do your best. Um, and see where you land, right? Like when you're ready for something. But definitely not not ready now because even though I'm working out, um, I still need a lot of energy for my body's kind of rebuilding and putting itself back together. So um, really, really hard training and things like that, I think is just a little too much energy for me at this point. But hopefully at some point, um, Brittany asked, do I still work as a hairdresser? I do not. And I don't think I'm probably will again, honestly. You never know. We'll see, but most likely not. Um, I really loved it and I loved the clients that I had. Um, I do think it's a really, it's a pretty high stress job. I was such a busy hairstylist and I saw quite a few people a day. Um, and I think that I'm really concentrating on selling products and doing other things. Once I really get like my skin back and my health back and I don't have to spend quite as much time on all the things I'm doing for my health, um, I also just plan on doing more videos and, um, you know, working on my products and things like that. Um, my husband doesn't do anything. He just 
yeah, right now he's taking some time off, <laughs> but he does, um, he's in the ski business, but right now is his off season. So not much right now. My husband drives our house right now, <laughs> <laughs> which is really nice. And he does our grocery shopping and takes care of me and things like that. So that is about it. Well, guys, it's always so nice to chit chat with you. Not too much really happened this week. Um, the dogs are super happy. We now have an alarm inside our trailer. We can watch everything they do all the time. And um, we know that they're really safe, which makes us feel super, super good. Um, so we're just having a great week with everybody. The cat is so happy. He tries to play with the dogs and they don't want it. Janine says he also does a lot of cooking for you. Yes, he does, Janine. Oh, my gosh. You guys know what he does. He does a lot of cooking for me, and I do a lot of the cleaning. So I do a lot of the cleaning and the organizing, although he's probably more organized than I am. Um, but we both do a lot of that. I vacuum every single day, keep it super neat and pretty. Um, and, yeah, we both do things together just to make it really nice but he always gives me some extra time because I do so many different things for my health every day and then I you know we both take care of the baby so sometimes we go together on our walks sometimes it's just one of us um I've been getting more and more energy so I've been doing more cooking as well which is pretty exciting Janine we made some delicious tacos with really nice gluten-free um I guess they, they call them tortillas don't they mm -hmm. yeah they're gluten-free tortillas um grass-fed meat and we made our own taco spices and it was so so good and then jeff made delicious homemade guac as well um so i've been doing more cooking um definitely when we stayed we were in aspen for about a month and my health started really coming back more so i've had more energy to pitch in more and things like that when we started on our trip i was so sick that i could really i couldn't do much of anything we would get to different um we would get to different spots and I was just laying down most of the time and Jeff was such a trooper and he just did everything to take care of me. So it's really, it's so funny, but every single time that you get a little bit more of your health back, it's such an exciting thing because you think about all the things that you're starting to be able to do that you didn't do before. I mean, like my skin doesn't look beautiful with no makeup now, but when this all started this summer, there's no way that I could have possibly not worn heavy foundation and things and looked normal at all um so it's really nice um i love that you remembered that janine i think that's so cool um Brittany says living the dream traveling with your babies and your hubby it really is it's yesterday i took a walk and i had lola with me so i usually take two and then i take lola on her own because she's she has some health stuff so she's a very slow walker so i like to just let her take her time and i just stopped and looked out at the ocean and i was like I am so fortunate. I'm so genuinely happy. It's um, one of those times in my life where I can just stop and be really appreciative and just look at the small things in life and just be like spending time with Jeff and having our little dinners and joking around and, and going to the gym together. Because if you guys don't know, my husband and I were living apart for six months of the year completely and we barely, barely got to see each other. So getting to see him all the time and not just having it be a visit is really nice and the dogs and the cat are so happy now the cat can chew his shoelaces up all the time from his shoes right honey mm -hmm. yeah they love it the cat doesn't go after my shoelaces but he chews all of jeff's shoelaces right in half slices them right up jackie says and hello jackie hi megan great to see you my three yorkies had a fun fun play date today my friend visited with her 11 yorkies what can we get more? <laughs> nope. He says no. No more for me, you guys. It's a sight to behold. It's great fun for them. Do your Yorkies ever have play dates? Um, not really, but Jeff's sister has a Yorkie, and I'm looking forward to seeing. I mean, my Yorkies are not always friendly to other dogs. We just don't know how they will be. But I think, like, if we would bring, say, Poppy, I think Poppy would be friendly. And maybe if Poppy had been friendly, maybe the other ones would consider being friendly. Her Yorkie's name is Bubba, and he is so cute and so sweet. 
That sounds like so much fun. Brittany just asked, how old were your kids when we met? My kids? Yeah. I don't I don't remember how old they were. Well, it was seven years ago. Seven eight, years ago. Eight, so Jared was like 16. So 16. Jordan was 17. 16, 17, and maybe 14, 14 I think. Yeah. yeah, 16, 17, and 14. Jeff and I have been together for quite a while. Amy says, how does your health insurance work <laughs> on different states? Uh, do you have coverage if you need to see a doctor? So um, that's a really good question. Um, it, we He's actually getting us a different policy. I will say that most of the time for the doctors that I see, health insurance doesn't cover it anyway. So my health insurance is really for emergencies. Um like when I went to the hospital for a CAT scan this summer. Um, but other than that, I use it maybe once a year for, you know, like my checkups, my late, as Jeff calls it, my lady checkup and my yearly checkup. Um, I go more to my functional doctor and nothing is covered. So all the care that I get is actually out of pocket, but you can submit it to go against your deductible. Um, for me, I definitely carry health insurance for just in case I have an emergency. And since I have had an emergency, I know that, you know, it's important to have. Um, but I don't really treat most of my things with traditional stuff. I really try to do more functional things. And unfortunately, functional medicine is just never covered by insurance. Um, I hope someday that changes because I think that personally, you know, functional doctors are real doctors, obviously. But I think they do so much more for our health than that traditional system that just treats the symptoms, you know, once you're already sick. So I hope that someday the healthcare system becomes more like functional medicine where they look deeper into your problems and figure out why you're having them instead of just saying, oh, you know, you your throat's closing. Let's give you an antihistamine. Well, why? You know, why is it closing? What's happening? So hopefully all medicine becomes like that at some point. Um, Brittany says, stop. I'm laughing at the way your baby just chills in your lap. It is so cute. Isn't she so cute? She is. Look how happy she is. Oh, isn't that nice? So this is my, she's my very, very relaxed girl. She's my shy girl. And even though the trailer is always the same place, right? Like the inside looks the same. We have the same thing, same smells, same foods, all of that. Every time we move it, she gets so stressed out and she wants to hide in the bedroom. And it's like, it's so funny because you're like, it's still your house, right? It's still your house. She get a little stressed out. She is a very cute little dog. Um, when I got Simba and he was a kitten, I think she thought he was her baby. And she used to give him like full lick baths. She was trying to take care of him, trying to clean him. And she is, we could not love this puppy anymore. She's so cute. We take her sometimes like on a special outing, especially if she's stressed out, I'll put her in a little side pouch and we might take her to the grocery store or something like that. She loves, she just loves to be the only dog. Um, when we got to San Diego, we wanted to go get chocolates to bring as a gift for Thanksgiving. So we took her with us to the mall in a little side bag and she had the best time. I mean, don't you think, honey, it was like the time of her life. They love to be the special one. It's their favorite, favorite thing. She really is a good girl, Debbie. She's just a sweetheart. Thank you, Valerie. She's the cutest. Oh, no, that sounds really stressful, Brittany. No, I haven't had any stress with her at all. No problems or anything like that. I'm so sorry. But I'm glad that that relationship is great. I wish that that wasn't happening and you didn't have to go to court. I'm sure... That's not fun at all. I don't think it's ever on anyone's like a list of what they want to do. Like, you know, it, I love rainbows, puppies, going to court. Nobody ever says that. So I will be hoping that it goes really smoothly and favorably for you. And also, I hope that at some point she becomes more amicable, too, because life is short and it's just good to do our best to get along. Right. And be understanding to other people. Um, really no reason to fight, that's for sure. But I think there's certain people out there that just 
you know, all they want to do is pick a fight and they don't want to resolve issues. Um, but hopefully, you know, she stops doing that. That's for sure. Poppy's little legs definitely get so tangled. I feel like we're, we go on so many outdoor walks and they get a little bit tangled here. What a good girl you are. Look at this nice puppy. Do you feel so much better? We brush that little tail. She's hiding her little tail. Beautiful. Beautiful. You're such a good girl. Look at you. Let's go this way. Look at that. Look at that. I think I'm going to just clean up their haircuts a little bit. It's funny, every single time I do it, I get a little bit better at it. And when they start to grow out, I see the mistakes that I made. And I think her haircut needs a little bit of work. Where's Lola? She's right here. Oh, should I borrow her? Looks like it's Lola's turn, but this is, this is my best girl. Look at that. You're so beautiful. I usually do one of my protocol things that I do to get better is I go on my PEMF mat every day and it's up on our bed up there. And every time I go to go on my mat, Poppy loves to just sleep right next to me. She's like my little shadow. Poppy, you're so pretty. Janine says, I started at 19 with my spouse, two ex-wives, four stepchildren, and a newborn baby. We raised a total of six kids together, and every day was different. Wow, that is amazing, Janine. Was it different in a good way? That's pretty incredible. It sounds like you had a lot to navigate for sure. I'm going to steal Lola from you, honey. Okay. What a good girl. Lola always slips the messiest out of all of my babies. She has, look, and she doesn't like to be held either. Look at this. No, no. She's trying to get away. She doesn't like to be held certain ways. She's a very, very independent little lady. Yes, she is. You look good, Lola. Got little things caught on you. Guys, if you're just joining us, please feel free to hop right into the comments and say hello. Don't be shy if you've never been on my live stream before. It's always just, we always just come on and chat, but this is a great place. If you have any questions, if you've watched any of my videos, if you just got a Yorkie or thinking about getting a Yorkie, you just like to come on and chit chat and you don't have a Yorkie, always feel free to come on. Um, also, if you guys want to ask about things that don't have to do with Yorkshire Terriers, feel free. I rarely stick to one subject. I usually title my videos with one subject, but we wind up chatting about lots of different things. So don't be shy about saying hello and just getting right on there in the comments. If you haven't done so, hit the like button. It makes such a big difference for my, um, for my YouTube account. And I really appreciate the support when you do, when you do like my videos, if you like my videos. They're just very simple and informal. I love to come on and just make myself available for chatting and answering any questions that people might have. I meant to announce this one yesterday and I was super, super busy all day. We actually didn't even eat dinner until I think nine o'clock last night, right? It was really late. So I was really working on stuff all day long. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Um, so I totally forgot to announce it earlier. Hmm. Are, so Brittany said, are your Yorkies very protective of you and Jeff? Um, are they protective? Do they try to protect us? I don't know. I think they think, I think they might think they're protecting us when they bark at other dogs and people, but I don't know if they really, I mean, I think maybe, I think Alfie tries to protect the girls. I don't know for sure if he's also trying to protect us. Um, also, Alfie's really afraid of everything. So if push came to shove, I don't think if, if anyone was going to protect us from something, it would be this little beast right here. She's definitely the alpha dog. She's in charge, right, honey? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, the I would say the cat is probably the most protective out of everybody. And he hears 
every single sound and he knows what's going on. He's very nosy. He's up in his tree right now, but he's always watching out the windows. If someone new drives in, he's right over looking at their car and he knows exactly what is going on. Oh, what a baby. Um, so Valerie asked, um, where did I get the little elastic bands for top knots? So I got these little elastic bands. It's probably really hard to see. They're just in kind of like an old Ziploc. Um, these are so awesome. I got these from a store called Top Line Pet. I think somewhere I should have a link in my description to Top Line Pet. Um, I'm not an ambassador for it or anything like that. I just really like their products. Um, they've got great little elastic bands. And this kind in particular, so some of the colors I like more than these. But these are the least, they, they seem to break the least. And they are also, the, they don't snag really. They all say snag free, but I think these are the best. So these are almost like blue and purple and kind of like a darker pink. Um, they're my favorite ones. I just keep buying these again and again because I just like to buy whatever is comfortable for my Yorkies. Um, I feel like I used to try to put them in bows and little shirts and things like that. And obviously if it's cold, I will dress them um, and put them in something warmer. But they're just such little tomboys. And I think what they really like is just to be comfortable and free and sort of enjoy themselves, you know. Brittany says, our Yorkie will play with my grandparents' dog all day. And once we get there, she snaps at them when they get close to her. It's so weird. That's so strange. Yeah, I wonder why she does that. I mean, I think, like, my Yorkies, too, would do that as well. Fortunately, they really don't have teeth. I think it's worked out well. It sounds terrible. Sorry if that sounds mean, but Lola especially, um, I have had somebody lean in to give me a hug, and Lola has definitely snapped at them. Or I remember our friend Vegas Dan, we call him, trying to give Lola a kiss, and she totally snapped at him and scared him, but she has no teeth, so it was okay. Um, so yes, they definitely do those things sometimes as well. Janine says, raising kids is an amazing experience. A lot of it is the way you look at things and approach it. I always kept a positive mind and loving heart. I feel like that is an amazing attitude, Janine. And that's a great attitude. Um, it's a great attitude to have in life, actually. Um, I was just talking to my husband about, so you guys know that I deal with mold illness and getting better and doing all these things. And one of the things that I think is a real gift is that a close friend of mine, really taught me at the beginning of this, I was really upset that this happened at the beginning. And she said, you really have to let that go. You can't have a negative attitude about getting better. There's no space for in your body. It's not good to be negative. And so I really learned to find the good in it and to be appreciative for why it happened. And it doesn't mean I never have a bad day where I wish it didn't happen to me. That does happen every once in a while. But um, there's a lot of like groups and things where people talk about mold illness. And I've noticed that a lot of people get really negative about it. And I just don't, I think it's really hard to get better when you're negative. I think a positive attitude and seeing the best and seeing the good in things is always a better way to be in life. And actually I try to just stay away. If people are really negative, I don't want to be brought down by it. So if there's someone that's consistently negative in my life, I know I don't want to surround myself with that because I tend to take on other people's energy. And so like Jeff and I are both very positive, although I'm the most positive, <laughs> but he's really positive too. Um, just, I'm like the most positive, but you're really positive too. Mm -hmm. Once in a while, he's grumpy though. Sometimes it's, it's happened before. Janine says that is funny because I always dress Isabel for every occasion. I had her dresses made so that's so cute. You dressed her all the time. And it sounds like she probably really liked it. My dogs just run away from me if I put things on them. Um, Lola doesn't like it. And her hair tangles so much. Um, I'm trying to think if any of them really like being dressed. Teddy, my dog that I used to have, did not mind being dressed at all. But all of my Yorkies that I have now don't really love to wear clothes. It's so funny. Um, especially Lola. She'll put a jacket on and that's okay. But when I got them new winter jackets this year and the winter jackets had hoods, they were very, very upset about the hoods. And I wound up having to remove them because Poppy had her head. It was just like hanging down. She looked ashamed and I don't know why. So that's so interesting. I think Yorkies are different like people. 
some of them really like it and some don't. Um, Lola, when she was little, I used to put bows in her hair all the time. And she worked so hard to rub out the bow that she wound up developing a big bald spot on the top of her hair. And I had to pull hair from all around it to try to hide the little bald spot on her head. Looking back, I probably didn't have to hide the bald spot on her head, but I did. I did hide that spot. Um, and eventually I just started just wearing little ponytails because I was so afraid that she was going to make another bald spot on the top of her head. Oh, lols, you're so nice. Um, I do have some clothes, but they're all in storage because I could not bring much when we were traveling. So I just don't have much of that stuff. Um, so yes, Brittany, they do not have teeth. They had, it's funny, I think it probably had something to do with our moldy apartment that we lived in. Um, where I originally got sick, but their teeth wound up getting bad very, very quickly. It actually does happen to people sometimes after mold exposure, which is scary too. Um, but they, I didn't expect it. And when I took Lola in for her cleaning a few years ago, they were like, we had to pull, and she was getting her teeth brushed, by the way. They had to pull like 17 teeth at the same time. Maybe it was even more. It might've been 20 but it was a horrifying number and they wound up just having to pull all of her teeth and Alfie's teeth were much the same too. So that's why I didn't do it voluntarily. I asked them if I could do dental implants and they laughed at me. <laughs> that would have been really expensive for their little tiny mouth. Honey, can I have some dental implants for the dog? It would be expensive. Yeah, it would be expensive. Jess says. Jim says my Yorkie squeakers loves to dig in the backyard and eat moles and mice. Do yours? Um, no. Well, first of all, we don't really have a backyard because we um, we live in a trailer. Um, but we so I've never lived anywhere when I had Yorkies where I did have a backyard because I always lived in the city and in the city you don't really have a yard. So well, I mean, unless you're really, really, really wealthy, you don't have a yard in the city. So. Um, I do not, but that's really funny that your dog likes to do that, though. Hi, Vanessa. How are you? Thank you so much for joining me. It's so nice to see you here. Poor Lola. It's so interesting. Um, Lola gets, it's much better now since I've been doing the activated carbon in her food, but Lola gets so many more little eye boogers than any of my other dogs. I was giving Alfie his bath yesterday, and I always use a washcloth just to make sure that I get the, their eye area really clean. Alfie had basically nothing under his eyes, and Lola always has so many different things there. It's really amazing. Look at the light coming in right now. It is, it's pretty nice. It's been um, overcast here today, so it hasn't been super sunny. Um, we put, so we have a ramp. This is a toy hauler, and if you guys don't know, toy haulers are actually meant to, you can um, bring cars in them, so all of our furniture can fold up and we have a ramp door in the back that we can put down. It has a screen um, and we can put these cables up and we have, oh, and excuse me because I have a little dog hair here, but then we have a nice patio so we can put our beach chairs out there and sit and get a little bit of vitamin D every day, which is really good for you. And it's nice. The sun is not very strong because it's obviously winter time, so it's pretty weak right now. Um, Fallon says, can you talk about teeth cleaning for Yorkies? Mine is due, but I'm scared about the anesthesia. Some don't wake up. I mean, my dogs have been under anesthesia several times and they've been fine. I think you really need to make sure you're going to a great vet. Um, if you're worried about it, I would look into your vet. I would look into their training. The way I always look at it with doctors and vets is that somebody graduated at the top of their class and somebody graduated at the bottom of their class. And so you really wanna make sure that you have a great vet that really knows what they're doing, that has a great anesthesiologist, and don't be shy about asking a lot of questions. Um, I think getting their teeth cleaned is really, really important, and having rotting teeth is obviously going to cause a lot of other health issues. Um, that said, you know, if you have someone great do it, 
I don't think you have to be worried. I do know that every time you go under anesthesia is very scary. And I understand that when I did my surgery that I did in LA this, um, this May, when I got my breast ex or my breast explant, where I got my breast implants taken out, I was petrified the night before. And they gave me all of the waiver forms. And when I looked at it, I was so scared to go under especially because I was so sick before I got that procedure done that I remember talking to my husband and I said, I hope my body can remember how to wake up because I'm so weak right now. But good news, guys, I'm still here. Um, I know I'm not as small as a Yorkie, but I think if you get the right person to do it, it should be fine. Um, and I would definitely get that, that cleaning done because, you know, I can't even imagine with my Yorkies. Oh, she doesn't want her little legs. I know. I know, but I just need to brush just the bottom of your leg a little bit. I know you won't let me do Oh, she's not even letting me do that today. Somebody's being sassy. It's probably because dad's outside and she wants him to take her for a walk. So I guess we're not doing the legs right now. Um, Brittany says, so no bad breath once the teeth are pulled. No, mine don't have any bad breath. And I felt sad when they told me that their teeth needed to go. But the vet said, please don't feel bad. It happens to so many Yorkies. And she said, your dogs are going to feel so much better. And they will still be able to eat. And what's so nice is that Evermore is in these nice little pieces. So they can just, I mean, it's like very soft. And it's not pureed, but it's really cut into teeny tiny little pieces. So they can eat their food, no problem. I don't think that their quality of life has suffered at all. And you know what? I tried to keep their teeth. I tried really hard and it just didn't, no, 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 it didn't work out. And it's so interesting because I've had a lot of dogs my entire life that kept, I mean, they probably just lost a few teeth and these poor little babies lost all of them, but they're very happy, no bad breath. And, you know, sometimes you just do your very best. Janine says the vet clinic I used had a dental specialist and they did all pre-op procedures before they started. I think that is so, so smart. Um, and I think that there's just very different, there's different um, kind of things that you can do um, with your dog when you find a vet. There's just find a great vet and you should be just fine. Um, our vet in Boston was really great. And then I've also found a vet out in Scottsdale. Um, I haven't needed a vet for, you know, when we've been traveling and things like that. I do a lot of kind of holistic things to keep up my dog's health. And we got their their um, vet visit before we left. But um, there's a good vet everywhere. So I always have a vet in my phone. And it's a local vet. I always have an emergency hospital for every different park that we stay in, just so that if I do need someone, I know where to go um, and I don't have to be searching if there is an emergency. Um, what about tug of war? Definitely can't do tug of war with no teeth. When Lola had teeth, when she was little, she loved to like, I mean, she just loved to yank on toys and things like that. And they can't do that. Um, so I will say they still play with toys too, though. I just make sure to have really small toys that they can, um, that they can, pick up really easily um, without an issue. And yeah, it works out fine. I know it's kind of funny, but you know, when your dogs don't have good teeth, you don't really have a choice about whether you can keep them or not, because obviously there's really no, I can't even imagine how much their teeth were probably hurting before they got them out. What a baby. A little bit of brushing here. Her legs are always so much more tangly than everybody else's, and she is not in the mood to be brushed today. But I find if I don't brush them every single day, they just get to be such a mess. So it's definitely important to kind of work through those knots every day. And from a health perspective, it's really good because you're sort of gently exfoliating their skin, you're brushing away toxins. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever done any kind of gua sha before, but I do, um, I do gua sha with this tool on my face and I'm so excited because I actually just got one for my body as well. So you can aid your lymphatic system by sort of stroking your body with this really cool tool. Um, and especially where I'm detoxing from having breast 
uh, implants and mold and all this stuff at the same time. I just try to do everything I can to help make my lymphatic system work. But same thing when you're brushing or gently massaging your dogs, they're getting the benefit of that massage. She's just not having it today, is she? No, she's not. Oh, you have a little tangle that's hidden right here. I'll be really gentle. Oh, maybe I should cut their hair a little shorter. What do you guys think? She's getting a little bit more tangled than she usually does. Oh, she doesn't. Can you see how she's spinning? She says, I don't really need you to brush this this you don't want your left front leg brush do you oh you're such a baby i'm sorry but i need to brush you we can't have one leg that didn't get brushed at all can we well guys i always love to jump on here and chat with you it's so so nice to chat with you guys every single time if anybody has any more questions or comments please feel free to jump into the comment section and let me know I'm probably going to be taking this little baby on a walk in a few minutes. Maybe she'll be less sassy after a walk. Is this, this looks a little bit tight. Let's loosen that for you. Don't get mad at me. No need to get mad at me. We have a little, um, so there's a screen door. Our front door is a full door, but you can open it and have a screen door. And it's just the perfect height. And the dogs and the cat love to just go and look right out that door, see what's going on, get some fresh air. It's I can never get over how much they, even though Poppy gets a little stressed sometimes being in the trailer when we move it, they enjoy being with us all the time and going to new places so much. It's really, really fun to see your dogs have such a good time. Thank you so much, Fallon. It was so nice to talk to you, and I, I hope that I put your mind at ease a little bit about the dental cleaning. I would definitely go for it. Just make sure that you really trust your vet. But I think it's such a good idea. Brittany, it's always so nice chatting with you too. Of course, I love our talks. It's so fun to come on um, and just say hello and see what's going on. Valerie, thank you so much for joining. It's nice to see you each and every time. I really appreciate all of your positivity and kindness, you guys. I look forward to our talks. I think it's another reason why I don't feel homesick. I get to come on and chat with you guys and see familiar faces and chat with familiar people. And it's really wonderful. Oh my gosh, you're welcome. I'm so glad that you liked the links. Was there anything in particular that you enjoyed from the links? Um, I'll say one more time, guys, I always post the links to my favorite thing in the description of the videos. I've been so bad about saying that in my videos lately. So I'm trying to just say it a few times because I know different people come on and off during the video. Um, Vanessa says, I'm going to get my first Yorkie um, next year. Do you have any quick do's or don'ts? Well, um, I have a good video that's up about um, things that I recommend doing when you get a new Yorkie. Um, one thing that I recommend doing is waiting until it's 12 weeks old until you bring it home. That is definitely the best age to bring a Yorkie home. And they're a little bit different in their development than other dogs. So I know it's hard, but if you can wait for 12 weeks, I think you wind up with a really well-adjusted dog. Um, get pet insurance before you bring your dog home. It is super, super important. Um, have a playpen so that you can safely contain your dog if needed, because when you get a puppy, you forget sometimes that they might want to chew on cords or things you own, and you really want to be able to keep that puppy safe. So if you need to be in the other room doing laundry or something, you know that your puppy is safe. Um, and also just plan for that day when you bring your dog home to make it a really relaxing, safe, quiet environment. Even though I know it's tempting to invite every single person that you know over to see your new puppy, it's a really, really scary day for a new puppy. So just make it relaxing and wonderful. And just know that you're going to have so much fun with, with your Yorkie. Um, they are the best thing in, in my life. Every time I come home, like we were just driving up to the park and I said to my husband, I cannot wait to see the babies. So they will be the highlight of your life. You you can't go wrong with a Yorkie. They're the best dogs. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to go out on a little walk with this little sassy little baby. Look, she doesn't want me to hold her. I hope to see you guys soon. I hope you have a beautiful week and I will see you guys really soon. Thank you again for joining. Bye guys.
Thank you so much, Janine. I know I'm so excited about that. It makes me really happy for you.